Welcome to Computer Keys Tutorials. In this video, I will be addressing a frequently asked question, how do I connect Keysmail to my mail server? For starters, your computer must be connected to the internet and have a valid domain name server. To configure your DNS, from the Keysmail menu, type go tcp adm. This puts you on the IBM TCP IP administration menu. Now use item 1 to configure TCP IP. Use item 12 to open the change TCP IP domain information screen. Make sure your hostname search priority is set to local rather than remote, and then check to see that you have a valid DNS entered here. If you do not enter a valid DNS address, Keysmail will not be able to look up domain names to find them on the internet. Now press enter. Next, if your mail server is located within your own network, like an exchange server, you need to make sure it has a host table entry that points to your server's internal address. To do this, use item 10 to enter the work with TCP IP host table entries. Our exchange server is listed down here. If your local mail server is not listed, you must use option 1 to add a new entry and enter your server's internal address. After pressing enter, you will give your server a valid name and then enter out of this screen. If your mail server is external, then you do not need to worry about the host table entry. When you are finished here, press F3 to return to the configure TCP IP menu. Regardless of whether you have an internal or external mail server, the next step is to check that you have a default route set up that points to your gateway to the internet. Use item 2 to enter the work with TCP IP routes. Make sure that you have a valid default route set. This is typically an address of a router with a firewall. To test if your configuration is correct, you can do a ping to an address you know should return a ping. Go back to a window with a command prompt and type ping yahoo.com. If everything is working correctly, it should return an address and ping responses. If it takes more than a few seconds to respond, then it is likely that one of your DNS entries is incorrect. This will greatly slow down your mail runs, so it is best to diagnose which entry is incorrect by going back into item 12 and deleting one of your DNS entries. Then try the ping again and see if the speed of return has increased. Once you figure out which entry is wrong, correct it, and this should fix your delay issue. If the ping comes back with a message saying unknown host, then either your DNS or your default route are incorrect, or you have chosen to ping an invalid or unresponsive address. Try another address to make sure you didn't just choose a bad address or type it wrong. And if it still says unknown host, you will now need to diagnose which of your configurations is the culprit. To see if your default route is the problem, you can type ping, then prompt it with function 4 and type in a known valid IP address. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what a valid address might be because they are always changing and might not be valid when you view this video. But if you happen to know a valid address, you can type it here. One way to get a valid IP address for testing is to open a command window from a properly configured PC that has a connection to the internet and ping a host name such as yahoo.com and then use the return address for your test. If it still does not find the host, something is wrong with your default route. If it does find it now but didn't when you type the name of the host, then it is your DNS that is bad. Once both your default route and DNS are working and pings return correctly, you can move on to the next step. From the Keysmail menu, use item 21 to enter the Keysmail connections menu. Go to the server you are setting up and use a to change. On this window, you should type in a description for the server you are connecting to, enter an I for internet as opposed to a dial-up connection, make sure to use a star system for the time zone so that it automatically adjusts for daylight savings time. For your domain name, type the part of your email address to the right of the at sign. Use all lowercase letters and put the domain name in single quotes. For the server name, if you have an internal mail server, type the name you assigned it in your host table. If you have an external mail server, type the name provided by your internet service provider. These will usually be named smtp.something or mail.something. Once you have entered all of this information correctly, Keysmail should be able to start sending your mail. By default, all mail servers accept mail from anyone as long as the mail is addressed to someone that is within its own domain, which for us is ckeys.com. But mail servers will not relay mail to outside addresses except from known valid connectors. For this reason, to test if Keysmail is working properly, you should send a piece of mail to an address outside of your domain name, such as to a Yahoo or Gmail account. After each mail run, it will say completed run if everything is working properly. If it says failed run, we can find out why it failed by looking in item 5 from the Keysmail menu. Item 5 brings up Keysmail messages, and it will list the reason why the mail failed. If it says something like, relay not allowed, then the problem is on the mail server. It would mean that your IBM I's IP address is not listed in your mail server's valid connectors, and the people who configure your mail server will have to make this correction for you. 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel, and you can visit us at computerkeys.com.